I wanted you to go for a walk on the grass on your bare feet to get some grounding. Why did I want you to do that? To connect with the earth, good. So we got connected to allow you to discharge a lot of what was going on in your body, right? To allow the earth to naturally pull out like those cations from your body, the negative charge ions from your body. But what is the earth doing to you then? It's giving you a space for you to let go. It's absorbing and holding space for your pains, for your negative like emotions or feelings or even the negative ions that are in your body, right? So technically what it's doing is it's providing you that safe container in a way. So a healthy masculine will also provide you a safe, non-judgmental space, allowing you to discharge, just like a healthy masculine partner should. They should not take your emotions personally. A healthy masculine never takes the feminine's emotions personally. Even if they're quote-unquote what we call too much or they're very heavy, the healthy masculine would draw a boundary because it needs to provide that level of saying, okay, I think this is where you need to work on certain things, you need to understand where these are coming from, where you may be projecting certain things that are coming at me, but they will not judge, shame, or criticize. So, a healthy masculine also provides a safe place to discharge, okay? Safe place to let go, let go, and discharge. Remember we said the feminine is about actually letting go, but see, can you see how the yin and yang work? The masculine can provide the space to let go, the space to allow those emotions to be felt. So like I said, very important to notice because feminine is a lot about the emotions, and so when our emotions get very heightened, naturally because of our hormonal time or whatever else is going on through our bodies, if we are shamed, judged, or criticized for those emotions, that is a weak and wounded masculine doing that. It's a toxic masculine that tends to want to suppress healthy, uh, not even healthy, just feminine emotions. Providing that container is one thing they can do, but even drawing a boundary and saying, okay, I think this is where I cannot show up. I think this is where you're asking too much of me right now. I think this is where perhaps I am feeling maybe like a little um, fatigued by this. I can show up only this much. This is my capability, but I need you to do a little bit of the work yourself. This is also very important because if not for this, a victimized feminine will just say, it's your responsibility to make me feel better, right? It's your responsibility to have to save me from that fucking tower and you have to do everything. Well, you have to do half the work of being able to let them know that you're in that fucking tower, right? Of like throwing down your long hair that they can climb up or whatever it is. <laughs> so, we've got these from grounding. What else can we think of with uh, a healthy master? Yes. Discipline, beautiful, <laughs> discipline. Now I can tell you personally from my own life and my own story before that when I was more in my wounded masculine, I expressed a lot of like feminine traits, I wasn't truly connecting my masculine, I lacked discipline. Now what does discipline also need to function? Consistency. Consistency, good. Very, very, very good. Consistency. Oh, sorry, is this one? You see, because I'm trying to like capitalize the space here. Consistency. Okay, what are some more either masculine traits related to discipline or that come under uh, discipline? Uh, or maybe some other new masculine traits we can think of. Think of when you want to be disciplined, what do you need that can help you be disciplined? Okay. Focus, yes, that's also a very strong masculine trait, getting into focus mode, which is why some men can tend to, when they're trying to build an empire, can be very disciplined and focused. So let's put focus in there. Okay, focus comes under <coughs> under this. I'm gonna explain to you something really powerful because the reason we're also talking about this is because I'm gonna ask you all, since this is majority like feminine people, actually it's all feminine mind here apart from me. You want do you all want to ma manifest a healthy masculine partner? or to find healthy masculine traits in your body. Yes? Yes. Yes. yes, I just want to check in, do a quick check. Yes, everybody. So you want to be able to look out for a partner who embodies these things and also make yourself ready to invite a partner like this into your life. It's both of those things. So this is why this is really important, is to understand like how can we bring this into a partner. So consistency, focus, what about structure? 
Yeah, everybody not yet. They're fucking crazy. Right? <laughs> structure, because you cannot have discipline if you don't have some version of structure. That's why, for a lot of us who lack discipline, a good way to work backwards. So let's say you're embodying a really feminine energy, and you need to protect yourself around a certain thing, and you need to be masculine. So let's say you need to practice your meditations more. You need to even take time out of your day more for yourself, right? Because you're like, oh, I have kids maybe, or I have like my work routine, I have everything. I just have no time for myself. Yeah, it's, that's also a very wounded response, which tends to happen naturally to a lot of single mothers and people who are fatigued and overburdened by their responsibility in care of their family. They get into a really wounded feminine place where they're like, I have no time for myself. That's where, to get that discipline to commit to yourself, you must first create some structure. So you have to cut out a piece of your day, you have to draw a fucking Excel sheet or a flowchart or whatever else you need in that space <coughs> to give yourself some structure so that you can focus on yourself and then you can create the discipline. Now the consistency is key. You'll find a lot of wounded men or masculine come in and say, make these promises like, I'll be there for you forever. You know, and for like the first month or the first two, three months, you see them really showing up and they're like, whatever. As comfort sets in, they lose consistency. And they lose consistency because there's another key word I'm gonna talk about on masculine trait. And that is, this is one of my favorites, which people fucking hate. Accountability. Boom, oh, there you go. Mm. Accountability. An extremely healthy masculine trait is accountability. In fact, you will find a healthy masculine show up and be accountable even when they don't really want to themselves because they recognize their responsibility, they recognize the necessity, they recognize how they need to show up for something they've committed to. Hey, and welcome to the Inner Yats YouTube page. If you like our content, make sure you click the like and the subscribe button so that you get more of these amazing videos that keep coming your way.